Absolutely incredible. Most goals in 90 minutes in the 90th minute or later this season. Look, Arsenal are finding a different way this season mm -hmm. to win these matches. Last season, we saw them, the Blitzkrieg, right? They were winning. They were scoring really early. They were being flashy. Mm -hmm. They were going after you. But there was that toughness, that metal they didn't have, which is crazy because Granite Shaka was in the squad. And that guy's nothing but grit, you know, grit and, and, and sort of that toughness. But now they're finding ways as a unit to not lose games. And that was something I couldn't have said about the squad throughout the entire season last season because mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. sort of lost it, which still... For me, as an Arsenal supporter, very openly an Arsenal supporter, I will say towards the second half of the season, I want to see this continue. I want to see them not slide into that little bit of uh, self-doubt that has crept in the last two seasons towards the end of the towards the end of the um, the campaign. Mm -hmm. This felt like one of those matches. Had they dropped points oh. against Luton Town, you look back at the end of the season and you go, what a missed opportunity. Mm -hmm. But this was an Arsenal team that, that found a way, and there are difference makers on the squad, like Declan Rice, who can find a stoppage time winner in the 97th minute. Um, so that has to give you... Yeah. A, a decent amount of confidence that they're I, if you can win these games I felt the same way um, over the weekend with with Liverpool finding that win against Fulham um, I think it was the same scoreline 4-3 you're just you have to win those games yeah you mm -hmm. have to win those games if you are going to be a champion you have to win those games and it feels like Arsenal is is built for that yeah it's, and I want to give a shout out to Kai Havertz who you know went through a really bit of a rough patch you know, as far as the, you know, the uh, court of public opinion went mm -hmm. uh, at the beginning of the season, obviously mm -hmm. with the season he had last year with Chelsea wasn't great. And to start to see that confidence start to slide back, I love the fact that, you know, Gabriel Jesus sort of dancing a little bit with the ball, got two defenders on him, still clips it over to a Kai Havertz, who maybe a couple of weeks ago he wouldn't have had that confidence to do that. Mm -hmm. Maybe would have been like, ah, Kai might not score this. Kai scores, immediately picks up the ball and says like, let's go, let's get back. That is that unit, that squad. I'm a little worried about the goalkeeper position, mm, if that's I'm going to be completely say. honest. I'm, I'm, I, I don't think I, these types of erratic games, Arteta doesn't want that. Of course You not. don't want to be in a back and forth in a, in a basketball game yeah. with, with Luton Town. Mm -hmm. Obviously, there will be moments. You, you can't be perfect the entire season. You can't control every single game for the entire season. But there were just glimpses and moments, and especially individual mistakes in the goalkeeping, that let this game just become, just blow wildly open like, mm -hmm. like it did. And let's see what Arteta's next step. I think he's still gonna back Raya, regardless of, of yeah. the two yeah, critical mistakes.